tactic test incoming. The following tactic test is scheduled for six teams and is testing the Reaper version 6 by Super Korean. Hello everyone and welcome to the latest tactic test with me Kipper 9. As mentioned we are testing the Reaper version 6 by Super Korean and we're going to show you the results and why it is now top of the tactic testing encyclopedia. Yep, that's right, that's the one with the golden bar. So, let's take a look as to what the tactic is and why it's now top of the encyclopedia. Okay, so as mentioned, it's uh, by Super Korean. It's an attacking tactic, this. Uh, we're going to look at it with Sparta, Rotterdam, because they're not part of the tactic testing. And so you don't get quite a... Uh, although you have had a slight sneaky peek with buying results, but... We're going to have a look at it with them. So attacking tactic in possession. We're going to be asking the players to use a standard attacking width. Passing into space. Playing out of the defence. Looking for the overlaps on the left and right. Slightly shorter passing directness with an extremely high tempo. We'll be using low crosses. Working the ball into the box. And asking the players to be more expressive. In transition, we're asking the players to counter press and counter, which is the standard for most tactics on Football Manager at the moment, uh, probably because of how good Geek Impression is. Um, we'll be asking the goalkeeper to distribute across the back line to the fullbacks and the centre backs. Out of possession, we'll be using the offside trap with a much higher line of engagement and a standard defensive line. We'll be asking the players also to force the opposition out wide. Um, we'll be using an extremely urgent pressing intensity, asking the players to prevent the short goalkeeper distribution and getting them to get stuck in, so expect a few cards as well. Set pieces, corners, defending right, defending left, attacking left, attacking right, and the free kicks, defending right and left attacking left and attacking right so that's the tactic um, it's strikeless we do know that everyone's not a fan of it however it is the strongest or does seem to be working the best on this football manager so perhaps it's one to maybe just have fun with before um, going on to the next one or if you're still struggling and you're looking for that one then this one has done so well across the board so uh, maybe this one's the one for you Okay, so we'll look at the six testing teams now and seeing what it has achieved and why it's up there. Um, Bayern Munich, uh, we've won the Bundesliga, which is, of course, probably a typical expectation for any tactic. We'd be looking for that one, but still, it has achieved it. A very good goal difference there, we can see, and a little bit of a gap between them and Dortmund, so that's pleasing. And along with that, there are four other trophies, so there's a quintuple, Won by Bayern Munich, Club World Championship, 5-0 victory there over Tigres in the final. Unfortunately not retaining the Champions League, going out in the first knockout round to Inter Milan. Quite close actually, only 2-1 on aggregate, so it's just one of those things. Could have happened, they actually won away, we won away. So uh, a little bit of luck, a little bit of tweaking, maybe, maybe that would have been the other way round. Uh, Super Cup victory 2-0 over Sevilla, uh, the German Cup retaining that one, just uh, a little bit closer than uh, maybe we'd hope for, but 3-2 victory over Cole nevertheless, and the German Super Cup, so in a curtain raiser we beat Borussia Dortmund 3-0, happy days indeed. Uh, let's take a look then at some of the stats. So the goals, Lewandowski leading the way with 44 goals in 52 games. He is an elite striker, 44 goals, and that's playing him out of position in the attacking midfield role as well. Um, 44 goals is outstanding. Muller not too far off with 30. Musiala, who's actually a young striker, uh, with 20. Tolisso and Navri also in double digits. Assists. Yep, uh, a lot going round there. Actually, a lot of people in double digits. Sane, Nabry, uh, 20 and 17. Kimmich, 16. Alaba, 15. 
Goretzka and Muller, Lewandowski and Musiala also on double digits there. Very strong stuff indeed. Uh, we'll take a look then at the overall stats with them. 178 goals scored in all competitions. That's outstanding. And so if it's 52 games, that's over three per game. 47 conceded, meaning that's less than one per game. So it's actually done quite well defensively with Bayern as well, though they are an elite team, so we would expect this kind of thing. And we'll take a look now at some of the goals from the tactic. Nianzu Davies and that's a ball over the top which actually is a little bit of a theme with that Lewandowski there dinking it over the goalkeeper lovely little chip lovely finish classy finish from a classy striker Kimmich from the corner crossing Nianzu yep into the low corner there left hand side Sane in the wide roll dinking it over the top then for Sieb takes it all the way young man and all oh, dinks it over as well cheeky little finish well done to him oh and a cartwheel why not Sane Rain Sieb Davies cutting in oh and a right footed dink over the top there Muller runs on and slots it home for a 4-0 win against Augsburg Okay, happy days. We'll take a look now then at the next team. Arsenal, 90 points second in the league, which is good stuff. That's a lot better than they did in real life. Um, and very close to actually sort of like you think about it. 90, I'm going to say only two points off. Uh, the goal difference obviously is, uh, is far superior, keeping Man United in third. City also having a good season with 88 points. That's outstanding. And then Chelsea quite far back on 56, so... Absolute bonkers season that is. That'd be an interesting one to watch. Um, if we have a look, then there's a few results there. Possibly if it went the other way, uh, most notably West Brom away, uh, Leicester away, maybe. But there's a few sort of like games there that if you'd have turned it around, that could have been a league win um, for Arsenal. But there we are. Aubameyang out. Odegaard smashing the league in terms of scoring. That's impressive. Good stats there. So the rest of them, uh, Europa League win. So uh, Europe, a European trophy in the bag for Arsenal. And that would be happy and welcome from them. Beating Juventus in the final. And that's no easy feat. On extra time, it doesn't matter. Trophy's a trophy. The League Cup got a victory there. 3-2 in extra time against Norwich. Uh, we'd hope maybe just to have won it normal time, but still a win's a win and that's another trophy in the bag. And the Community Shield, penalties against Liverpool, okay, but still that's a treble of sorts. Uh, Semi-final, lost on penalties, so maybe a little bit of revenge there from Liverpool, but you know, one of those things we could have possibly got through. That, that's So it's very close to actually winning all the trophies with Arsenal, just need that little bit more luck. Uh, stats wise so assists you've got Odegaard top there with 25 Saka 17 Smith Rowe 16 Nelson William Aubameyang as I say a lot of players there with double double digits goals similar uh, Aubameyang with 50 league well 50 goals actually just 50 goals in all competitions 64 appearances 50 goals outstanding that's amazing Odegaard with 43, again, that's phenomenal stuff. I mean, that's 68 altogether. That's gold contributions. That's insane. Um, 23 from Smith Rowe, Sabios, and Gabriel also in double digits. Holding there with nine, so uh, good contribution from the centre backs, probably the corners altogether. Uh, 189, that's a massive amount of goals, isn't it? 189 goals there. 54 conceded, less than one per game. Good goal difference. You can't be asking for any more than that. Well, unless you're greedy. Uh, but good solid start there. We'll have a look at the goals against Sheffield United. There we go. Bayerin on the right-hand side. Nelson taking it through. And a good cross there. Saka heads it to home. Lovely finish. Uh, Bamiang 
gets fouled. Sabios Smith through again as a tackle. Sabios as he taking it round, dings it through on oh, slots at home in the bottom right hand corner. Gabriel clears Martinelli to El Nenny, who lobs it over to Smith Rowe. First time to Aubameyang, who fires that home. That's a good finish. A good bit of play that was. That was from defending. El Nenny to Aubameyang, Ceballos. And is he dinking that over the top? No, he's filtered it through. Aubameyang, oh, megs him. And again, a nice finish in the bottom corner. I say that's outstanding. Look at that. That's total domination. I know Sheffield United aren't great, but still. Um, okay, and on to Spain. Valencia, second. Second in La Liga, 84 points. Although I'm not really sure there's much that could have been done really to have won the league on that one when when the AI is giving Real Madrid virtually an unbeaten season. Just the one lost to Hispalis. Look at that. Crazy. Um, but yeah, I mean, not much we can do that. 84, I've seen them win the league with that before or something similar. So one of those things. But we have got silverware, the Spanish Cup winning 3-0 against Girona in the final. So that is a trophy to end the season. Second, uh, six places above their predicted of eighth. So a very strong campaign for Valencia and they'd be very happy with that. Goals, we'll have a look. Okay, Maxi Gomez leading the way with 34. Gway Days with 24 and only 27 starts. A bit strange why he didn't start more games. You've got to wonder. He probably must have been injured because, I mean, that kind of ratio. I mean, they possibly could have fired the, their way up the league a bit more. Vallejo and Kangin with double figures as well. Assist, quite a few going round again. Gaia with 17, Kangin 15, Gomez 12, Sola, Piccini and Vallejo with double digits there for Valencia. Overall then, 134 goals in all competitions. That's a strong amount of goals. Uh, they're not in Europe this season, so if that's just this 46 games... That's getting on to sort of free per game. Uh, 39 conceded, so that's less than one. So decently defensive with them as well. Um, let's have a look then at the 5-2 win against Granada. Oh, was their highlight first. So, Vico slots it through. That's a little bit of shame that the centre-back gave them quite a bit of gaps. And that's a good finish by Queena there. Obviously, there's a turnaround. Gabriel then with a throw. That's a long throw, actually. Back Ferro to back to Gabriel. Dinks it through to Gwed. Oh, it's acres of space. Look at that. Easy. Easy. Too much space. Be annoyed if you were the opposition manager. Out there to Gaia. Who shoots, spills it, and Maxi Gomez with the tap in. And that's changed the match to 2-1. Gabriel with the long throw again to Sola, who has kept his cool and feeds it to Guedes, who scores his second. Guy with the corner then. Over the top, Ferro, and easily again. Too much space, and that's four. Sola taking it away. Nearly bumped into his own man. Ding! Oh, look at that. Back hill pass to Guedes. That's just cheeky, that is. And a hat-trick for Guedes. And finally, and a set-piece conceded, is it? Yep. So, again, I'd say disappointing defending for a couple of goals, but it happens at the end of the day. A win's a win. So, Valencia have done really well, and shall we go to Italy now? Oh, okay, everyone. Um, obviously, I've had a little look first, but Verona, Hellas Verona... Have won the league. They are our underdog team. Uh, predicted 16, so more than towards the bottom. They're predicted possibly to be going down. They were definitely meant to be in the fight, but instead winning Serie A, which um, is actually the second, would be if it, you know, obviously if it happened, would be their second league win in their history. That's outstanding uh, by a point, but it doesn't matter. I mean, good goal difference as well, though. Um, but outstanding. That's another trophy in the bag. So far, everyone has won something. Um, 
quarter final in the cup by Inter Milan knocked out 3-1 not quite that close there but it happens and at the same time does it really matter they've won the league um, yep no outstanding stuff there cannot believe it insane um, and we'll have a look then what's happened so the assists okay not quite as high as with the other teams but they are underdogs so we're not expecting the figures to quite be as high but at the same time they are shared around quite a bit uh, DeMarco Ferroni and Zakagni all with double digits to me and Barak not far off goals the Sagna with 26 Zakagni with 23 uh, then it does dip it down to Barak and Benassi but it's fine because I'm like saying you have two players scoring that kind of amount of goals and they've won the league so who, who can complain there really um, we'll have a look then a uh, total of 97 goals in all competitions fantastic stuff with an underdog team only the league and the cup to focus on and nearly 100 goals marvellous stuff 45 and 42 so a little bit higher but as the underdog that's expected and to be honest it's only barely over one um you know with with not as good a player so you know with some uh, wise transfers that they could become a new force in italian football um brilliant okay so we go on then to the french team angers Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. One point off Paris Saint-Germain then in the league. That is extremely close, extremely tight. Um, ninth round in the cup by Nantes. So, but then, oh, look at that though. One point behind uh, some draws. Look at that. Oh, and one of the draws was with Paris Saint-Germain. I mean, if you just edge that game, that's an extra two points. 93 points. That would have been a league win. So, just and then there's a few other draws as well i mean that's just one of those things um but that's so close so close to winning winning league and um but still nevertheless they predicted four teams second place plus 12 places that's an outstanding campaign for angers um and their fans would be loving that if that truly happened um so we'll have a look then uh, similarly to the other underdog verona we're not expecting quite as high figures, but 22 goals scored by Buffal, 20 by Bohokan, Forgini close to getting double figures, but not quite assist-wise. Uh, similarly, although there's a few more this time, but 13 by Bobby Chan, 12 by Forgini, Buffal and Capel also with double figures. Milali not far behind, but well spread out again. Overall. 100 goals scored um, like Hellas Verona there's no there's only the league and the cup to worry about so 39 games 100 goals that's very good stuff indeed uh, 35 conceded so that's less than one per game again it's done decently defensively as well um, well what a campaign what good start uh, some good you know good transfers and well worked there and um, you know you could be taking over PSG in no time um, and finally the lower league team Blackpool we can see there have won um, so they're back up into the championship uh, like they are in real life but this time no playoff needed smashing the league 26 points clear of Hull with 106 points absolutely phenomenal stuff decent displays in the cups as well fourth round in the league cup fourth round in the FA cup uh, probably a bit unfortunate to be losing to Hull. I mean, done bested them in the league, but Hull obviously are a decent team at this level. Quarterfinals in the Papa John's Trophy also by Hull, so a little bit disappointing there. But at the same time, getting promoted is probably the best thing and a good start to any save. So squad uh we'll have a look then at the assist garbutt with 25 that's a lot uh <laughs> lawrence gabriel with 11 mitchell 11 and anderson with 10 a good few there look going round and goals wise similarly uh 27 by anderson kakai with 26 medin 24 embleton with 19 so that's a lot of goals there as well decent performance overall by Blackpool we'll have a look then at the overall stats 
151 scored in the 60 games. Um, that's that's still that's amazing job. I mean, you can't argue with that. 150 goals for a lower league team with a strikerless tactic, and you wouldn't have thought that kind of thing would happen with them necessarily. But it has just over the one per game marginally as well. So just a little bit of work, and that probably will go the other way. But they're overall, you know, we're happy. I mean, like there's only Andrews who didn't win a trophy, and even then it was flipping close so outstanding stuff overall and that is why they are top or this tactic is top of the testing encyclopedia so there it is the reaper version 6 perhaps the deadliest version of them all um, I've been Kipper 9 thank you for watching um, if you've enjoyed the video uh, or enjoyed the tactic please like and subscribe I think it helps somehow but I'm not really sure why um, but I do appreciate it very much. Um, I appreciate you watching and all the support. And uh, thank you again. Um, if you do use the Reaper, let me know how it's done for you in your saves. Um, but yep, that's been me, Kipper9. Thank you once again. Goodbye.